Hello, custom car enthusiasts, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. So in this episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on here. We've got some normal jobs here, like putting a new engine oil and filter into a car. And then we have the storyline mission. So we're going to go ahead and go with the storyline mission. I bought this machine from a friend of mine who needed more money quickly. He assured me that the car was fine, but I feel it pulling to the right, and this strange smell, like mushrooms. From what I remember, he works behind a desk, not in sales. Anyway, check what's wrong with it and make it usable. So let's go ahead and take that one. Definitely going to want to put this on to our uh, tester because we have a lot of things that seem to be wrong with this car. Alright, so let's go ahead and move this car to the test path. Let's go ahead and... Well, the car started, so that's a good thing. Go ahead and press the brakes. Front brakes are about 50%, not that great. Rear brakes are even worse. Well, I mean, just overall the brakes are bad. So we know we gotta replace them. Front suspension's pretty much garbage. bunch of parts to replace here, and ones that are at 55%. I wonder what the cutoff is. I didn't pay attention to that. Let's see here. 100%. So, we have a whole bunch of parts that we're going to need to replace there. That's fine. Why is it that we have, uh, you know, graffiti in here? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Let's go ahead and take it to the test track. See how the car does out here. Hopefully we find the other things that are wrong with it. Okay, takes forever to get going. Say acceleration test wise, it's uh, failed pretty badly. Get the camera back there as I wanted it. That's why you don't drive a car with a keyboard? are bad already, so this is going to be interesting here. Hey, we made it stop. Alright, perfect. <coughs> Excuse me there. Alright, so the inner tie rod, the outer tie rod, solid rear drive axle, pretty much everything shot there. Perfect. Guessing we left the car over here. Have we found everything? No, we still have a few parts that are undiscovered. But we have a bunch already to replace, so... Let's go ahead and move it to the lift and start replacing those parts. Right, we're going to have to take all that off. So, 
So let's do that, and then we'll see where we get from there. it higher because it's going to be a lot with the wheels and set here. is going to have to come off here. So, might as well just take it all off now. Go ahead over to this side because we know we're gonna have to take off much of the same stuff over here. Kind of good news is the brake pads look fine. stuff is sort of rusted out. see what else all right we need to take this off and that off still okay, so the front sway bar can come off right now then we're gonna have to remove the drive shaft We're using a long distance uh, wrench here. Alright, so the drive shaft has come off. Alright, now what do I have to take off in order to get this off? I have to get into the engine. Alright. So, down we lower. And let's get into the engine bay here. That can come 
off. And then we'll bring it back up. I'd say personally, we'd just be better off getting a new car. But it is what it is. If this person wants this one, then we will get it fixed up. Like these are also needing to be replaced. Got that out. We need to get the uh, car lowered down again. I find it funny. We haven't even started on the back end yet. We're just still on the front end here. All right. So I think that's everything from the front end that we need to take out. need to lift the car up further. All that comes off. It even looks like the gas tank's not in great condition. this off.
one more part. Now that it looks like we've taken about half the car off here. Do we for one have everything? Yes, we have everything. Alright, so now let's go buy the parts that we need. Which is a whole bunch of stuff here. <laughs> I need to separate parts also. Make sure that we've got everything we need taken care of here. Not exactly sure if they all need to be separated, but better safe than sorry. stuff. Alright, so we need a brake caliper and brake pad to begin with. Uh, let's put these by name. So we need two brake calipers. Now these other ones are at 55%. I don't know if they're going to be good enough or not. I don't think so. I think it has to all be 100%. Brake caliper, brake caliper, I'm only seeing two of them though, so let's just try for two and see how that goes. And I misspelled that. Alright, good job. Let's just get two of these. rid of two. Also, before we continue that, let's go over here, see if there's anything we oh, we can do some stuff here. Let's try this here. Okay, so that actually hurt the parts position. Yeah, let's not do that then. We need a brake just ventilated, and we're going to need four brake pads. Brake just ventilated, and then four brake pads. Sell that one. Get rid of this stuff. Front suspension cross member and two inner tie rods. Just the normal one? I think it's just, but best to make sure. No, it's the B. Alright. And then two of 
those. I will try repairing parts once I get my skill up some, but for right now, yeah, I'm just damaging parts. I don't really like the 50 50. So we need a leaf spring U bolt and then two lower suspension arms. Outer tie rods. Is definitely the most parts I've replaced on a vehicle here so far. Hopefully this person has some money to afford all this because we are completely redoing their vehicle. Alright, now I need solid rear drive axles, two of them. Those two. Steering rack. And then wheel hubcap. Alright. Go ahead and get parts coming back together. Hopefully, as I said, these will be fine this way. Not entirely sure. We will see once we're done here. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and have to buy even more parts. I mean, as it stands, this car is really not worth it, but... Got all those. Which 
just am curious here. So let's see something like a starter. Yeah, it doesn't show the starter on here. Alright, so it's gonna say those parts are okay then. Go ahead and lower it down and put it in what we can in here first. So we were able to put that in. Now I gotta raise the car back up. Let's start back here. Looks like I got most of what I needed to be reinstalled there. So let's go ahead and start reinstalling over here. Really, I'm not gonna feel good about this car and say this in. It's one of those I've put in a bunch of good parts with a bunch of crap. Not exactly thrilled about that.
long distance again. I mean, none of that stuff needs to be replaced, it seems like. So, I guess we're on the right track. Not exactly thrilled, but it is what it is. Bunch of bushings go into this, I know. Alright, so that bow is attached. Let's go ahead and put the starter in before we forget. That will be slightly important. I'm in the engine bay. Why is it not? Right, let's go to that part. used parts here. Hey, at least we got a shiny new brake on there. That's nice. But then a rusty uh, caliper, basically. It's gotten quite a bit of the stuff done right there. So when we reassemble this side, it will most likely take care of the rest. I think it's silly, but whatever. It's their car. If they want to drive on a uh, partially broken car, that's up to them, I guess. I guess this is a good lesson for people that, you know, when the mechanic says something should be replaced, probably should listen. I know there's mechanics out there, I'm sure, that take advantage and replace things that don't need to be put at the same time. Like, this is silliness here. And have half this stuff be nice and new, and half of it be utter garbage.
check our inventory, make sure we don't have any perks left. We do not. And let's check this. And... Oh, it does want a few things still. Break this ventilated, break caliper, and rubber bushing. I'm guessing it's going to be this one over here. Oh no, that one's shiny and new. Those are just standard break discs. Doesn't like one of the rubber bushings, doesn't like a brake caliper, and doesn't like the brake disc ventilated. In this brake caliper I can see the the film. Remove those parts. Break this in the latest eighty percent. Not sure what to think on that. Calipers are at fifty five per cent. And then a rubber bushing somewhere it doesn't like now. See about these rubber bushings just overall. It's very odd because it had been fine with the parts it seemed. And now it's changed its mind. So any of these ones, go ahead and replace two rubber bushings. We'll just get them all to be brand new. Then we're going to go with selling those off. We're going to go with two new brake calipers and two brake caliper cylinders. And it wants to break this ventilated, so let's get 
get those. So these will sell off. this at this point. Brand new parts, so those are definitely fine. Brand new brake disc, so that's fine. Brand new brake pads. And caliper and cylinder. So can't have a problem with that. Trying to get it to click on these parts. It's a little bit challenging. Alright. There we go. Everything is now checked off. So, for some reason, it wanted those parts replaced, even though they didn't need to be. So, we have finished the order, dropped the car down, shut the hood. Still a piece of garbage car that we've now spent over $5,000 on. Alright. We got a bonus for it though, so that's nice to see. Still haven't upgraded to the next level, and actually the next level is going to be at 7 here, so we'll get another point that we can put towards something. Probably I'll get the tire tread tester, I think. Ooh, or the recycling, sort of a nice D. Yeah, we'll see about that. But alright, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you enjoyed the episode, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you again for the next episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018.